As Maine legislators convened for the first time this year inside the State House, signs on the front door and in the lobby made clear masks are required. But one libertarian representative from Oxford County wouldn't obey. John Andrews of Paris arguing if the governor and the U.S. CDC had lifted mask mandates, so should the legislature. I believe that I'm acting completely ethically by standing up for what I believe in. We have a disagreement on policy, that's fine, but that doesn't mean that I need to cower in front of it. I need to back the people that are backing me, and that's why I'm standing up on principle by not wearing a mask. The House resumed business after an ethics committee hearing ended with Andrews agreeing to leave Capitol grounds. The legislature is just like any business. Uh, the leadership got together and they decided in weighing both sides that they were going to go with the masks for now. Hopefully in a month or so it'll, it, it'll be irrelevant. Andrews, one of seven legislators who resisted the mask mandate, the other six Republicans like Laura Libby, relented after being temporarily booted off committees. Representative Libby's face shield deemed acceptable, but not really for her. Now that uh, the governor has lifted the mask mandate, we're told, and Maine people are told, no, no, actually, we're not going to follow the science. Um, we are going to make an arbitrary rule. The Democratic Ethics Committee chairman sees it differently. We don't want to go interrogate everybody about whether they've been vaccinated or not. And you have a group of people who cannot get vaccinated because their immune system doesn't allow it. One notable series of votes today, the Democratic majority rejecting Republican bills to curb any governor's power to unilaterally extend states of emergency, as Governor Janet Mills has done throughout this pandemic. Live in Augusta, Phil Hirschkorn, WMTW News 8.